Hey, what's going on guys? Flaming Arrow Gaming back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing some Boom Beach Teach and we're going to be teaching you Skank Attacks. One of the most high power and high GBE cost attacks in the game. Um, definitely not for lower level players. Sorry guys, I will have a video out next week for lower level players. I'll be teaching you guys hookah, stay tuned for that. But I'm not going to get into any more about that because today I want to teach you guys hookah. We're going to start off by showing you guys my operation attack. Now Scorchers, in my opinion, they really do not belong in an operation attack. Um, but the operation was so easy that I said YOLO and I can use it to teach my players. I have a lot of gunboat energy. It, uh, it costs about 96 gunboat energy to deploy all my troops. Um, and then of course I just took out these buildings. Now, what I want to actually talk to you guys about while you guys witness my attack... Let's go. ...is the fact that, um, you let the Scorchers get in front of the tanks, they take the damage, and the tanks do most of the damage to the defensive buildings and the Scorchers just take that damage. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There's really nothing to it. Everyone thinks it's such a high mentality strategy, but in all honesty, it really isn't, especially since the Scorchers, look at that, the Scorcher just continued on and the Sniper Tower's still there. It's really low mentality because the Scorchers have almost no brain power themselves, <laughs> ironically enough. Um, but the next thing to talk about, because, like, there's nothing else to talk about. It's just Scorchers and tanks. Drop them and let them take over the base. And you just help out with the um, different kind of weapons that you have for your gunboat abilities. What I really want to focus on, which uh showing you guys, is what heroes to use. Because, honestly, every single hero works with this strategy. Almost every single ability works with this strategy too. And I'm going to be showing you guys the differences. So you're not going to see much attacking, but I promise to attack, I'm going to be focusing mainly here. So since you guys watched that video and you've seen how to attack with uh, skanks, scorchers, and tanks, I'm going to show you the different abilities to use with the heroes. Her cluster grenade and the troops... I do not recommend it whatsoever, especially with Scorchers. She'll be shooting, the cluster grenade will explode, and it could possibly damage Scorchers. Wrong idea, do not take that in. Now, Iron Will, yes, definitely is is good to take in. Um, I definitely have more preferable choices, but just give those uh, Scorchers some extra health, um, because this thing takes 55% uh, damage reduction. Definitely good to take in, but as you saw in the battle and you see right now when I use sergeant brick with these attacks I use battle orders just to make the things go faster and Destroy uh, buildings much faster. That's why I would choose that now on to dr. Cavan as You all know if you've watched my channel for long enough, you know, I absolutely despise dr. Cavan so many people see him as like Oh, I'm gonna use Dr. Cavan to substitute my medics. You just made the wrong choice, buddy. Dr. Cavan is not gonna save your troops, especially when it comes to skanks. However, he does have his passive ability, galvanizing presence. Uh, troops healed by the hero have all incoming damage reduced for a short duration. Duration. That is good, yes. He's okay to take in with the Scorchers. However, I will say this. Do not use second wind. There's going to be no sense in bringing back a tank if you lose one, somehow lose one. And it cannot bring back a scorcher. So don't use it. Ice shields, yes. I, I would say, yeah, use ice shields with skanks because it gives them, you know, that inf infinite damage and it means you can take on uh, doom cannons much easier. But remember, the ice shield is... um. It is temporary, and it's very short-lived. And I do not recommend Crystal Critters, but then again, it is a possibility to use them. 
Next, Captain Everspark. As you can see, she is the only hero that I have that has a maxed out ability, and it's the Critter Swarm. Critter swar Swarm works with almost anything, guys. I'm being serious. Use it because it works. In fact, I'm going to probably use her in my next attack because you guys saw Brick. I like to use different heroes. Critter Swarm is great because of the huge distraction it caused. It deploys 16 critters. Just awesome ability. This explosive charge is not my favorite. I guess it could be used. Now, Universal Remote. Yes. Use Universal Remote. In skank attacks, taking out or taking control of certain defenses, that'll definitely help a lot, out a lot, and it ha helps out a lot in almost every attack. But be careful because when that defense um, gets back under its own control, you lose control of it. It'll start shooting at your tanks if you're past it. So definitely keep an eye out. Lastly, Private Bullet, and I just got him to level six. I'm so excited. Skank attacks, almost any of these abilities works. Shock Knuckles, it works. Energy Drink, it works. What I see him as, and when I use Private Bullet, I see him as another Scorcher with a lot more health out on the field for me, doing damage and taking hits. And definitely Taunt. Taunt is the best ability he has, in my opinion. It takes all that damage. And nothing can do more than 200 damage to him when he's using it. It's incredible. So that's enough of the heroes. We're going to grab Everspark. We're going to grab Universal Remote. And we're going to go attack a PC base. Uh, nope. Don't destroy it. Alrighty. So this is pretty straightforward. I'm going to use a little gunboat energy to get rid of this boom cannon. And we're going to be going down the left side... I think, take out that. Okay, now drop the troops. And we're going to shock that because we don't want our Scorchers taking too much damage. Alright, get back here guys. Um, do be very cautious of where your troops are going because you do not want to lose control of these scorchers that was a beautiful shot why did she hack that i didn't want her to hack that oh well all right um we're gonna need some distractions and we're going to have to lay down the law. We're going to back our troops up. That Scorcher is getting low, but it should be fine. But see, this is my favorite part about all this. You don't have to worry... You don't have to worry about... Um, what am I going for here? You don't have to worry too much about their health. They have so much health, it's insane. And see, we took down that base. Not even a, really a problem. That It's just so much fun to attack with them. And you saw how Universal Remote helped out. It distracted uh, by using the buildings and eventually got those other buildings destroyed. Now we're going to use my... Um, I'm going to use my more favored hero. Although I do like Brick the best when I'm using Skanks. Now, let's see here. Evil Trap. And guys, if you're enjoying the series, go down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified of when I upload. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Boom Beach Teach at least once a week. And comment down below to tell me what you guys want to see. Now, this base is a lot harder, but not too hard for me. I am I'm gonna drop Bullet, use his ability, and drop my troops. It's what I call the smart landing. And we're going to keep my uh, hero getting hit by these things because <laughs> he's not taking much damage whatsoever. Alright, now we're going to bring our troops over here and we're going to smoke these guys out of here. Alrighty. 
but honestly, it's a super straightforward attack. You guys, once you are able to use skanks, not only will you absolutely enjoy using them, you're going to get the hang of it almost immediately. It's almost it's no hassle whatsoever. We're going to shock those up. We're going to destroy this because we don't want that guy shooting at our troops. And we're going to flare him onto the HQ. Definitely a good idea to do because that just destroys it all. It is so good. And if you've seen my tribal attacks, you guys saw how easy it is to attack with Private Bullet and um, using his taunt. His taunt is just so good. Supercell, don't ever take that out of here. We love taunt. But, um, oh yeah, I have all my tribes unlocked. Just a little bonus showing you guys there. Um, before I end the video, I just want to say um, I want to start bringing in Base Builder. That way I can teach lower level stuff on those thing on uh, Base Builder. It'll be pretty easy to use to teach low level attacks. As well as higher level people can see the attacks. Um, so let me know what you guys think of me bringing in Base Builder to some of my new videos. Um, this week is going to be a short week for me. Um, or I mean a long week for me nonetheless. Uh, I'm going to have another Boom Beach V... Uh, Boom... Wow, I am tongue twisted today. Boom Beach Teach video out this week. I probably won't have a challenge video out. Um, and final announcement that I have to let you guys know. We're taking Clash Royale off the channel. No more Clash Royale videos because it's just killing the channel. And there's like 50 different YouTubers who do Clash Royale. I'm just going to let those guys do what they do. Entertain you guys. And I'll keep doing Boom Beach since they don't want to. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to leave it here. You guys learned Skank today, and Skank is one of my favorites. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye, guys.